Hey, Buddy Lindsay here from GoJango.com. Welcome back. Today, I wanted to answer a question that I got via email, and that is, how do I vet third-party Django apps? Which is a really good question because there's a lot out there, and you kind of somewhat need a guideline in how you, you know, determine which one you want to use. I never actually thought about this, but once I started thinking about it, I realized I have a few general ideas that I follow when I want to choose a Django application, like a third-party app. And the first one I look at is, when was the last time any development was done on it? Uh, that has a couple of caveats, but the first, basically, if it's had development done on it in the master branch or whatever their active development branch is, in the last few months, then I'm usually pretty okay with doing development on that with that library and including that in my project. If it's been, you know, two years, then I take a look at what the project actually does. If it's some really basic code, and I'll actually go into the code on GitHub if it's there and look at it. And if it's fairly basic and, and I understand what's going on and I'm willing to maintain it at some point down the road if it comes to it, then I'll go ahead and use the project. Uh, if it's something that's big, it's mafic, it's massive, it's kludgy, I don't know what's going on, it takes me a long time to figure it out, and it's been a couple of years, I say no. And I move on and find something else that does something similar or I code my own thing. Uh, that way I know what it does and how it works. So after I take a look at how long it's been since you know anything's actively been done on it, I actually take a browse through the code and I look to see if you know it follows some sort of standard, if some of the stuff, you know, how does it look? Like how do I feel whenever I look at the code? Do I feel like it's decent code? And this isn't really so much a, a yes or no thing, but it just, it, it kind of, you know, let's step up a little more if it's good code that I feel more confident in the project. You know, and then I also look at how much is it being used. And I kind of look at that based on stars and watchers on GitHub, how many downloads it has on, on uh, PIP. I look at um, Django Packages site to, you know, get an idea of, you know, from there. I look at a lot of different resources and I try to get an idea of, of how much it's being used. And if it's used a lot, then I have a confidence that it's actually doing what it's intended to do. And then I take a look at how do I use it? Is it easy to understand how it works? Uh, and, and that can actually be a deal breaker on its own. If it's something that's convoluted and messy, then it generally I'm just like, no, it, it's probably not gonna be worth it. Uh, unless it's by a big name developer and I know they know what they're doing and like this is probably the best thing you know that it could come down to to accomplish this thing. However, if it's really nice and elegant, then you know that's one more tick in that realm of whether I'm gonna use it or not. The other factor is who developed it. Uh, so if it's someone like Andrew Godwin and he developed a package, then I might not even look at their entire rest of the criteria and I might just go ahead and start using it because I have so much trust in all of his other projects that this thing is probably gonna work and work well. And so there's kind of a lot of different factors in, in a lot of these um, realms in determining whether I'm gonna use a project. So it, it's really, you have to take a holistic point of view, not just a, uh, you know, does it meet this criteria? Does it meet this criteria? You, you kind of have to, you know, feel it out. And I also recommend, and I do this when I have time, actually checking out the code and writing a really basic project and doing something with it to try to go beyond the, the, the basic tutorial and see if that's something that you really want to use. A lot of times I'll, I'll start to use something and I get into using it and I find this big barrier that like this person probably didn't ever think about the scenario that I wanted to use it with and so and I just can't do it. And so I either have to fork the project, make my own tweaks to it, or rip out a, some of the code, like you know, a couple of functions here and there that accomplishes the main thing and then tweak them as I need them. Um, that I rarely ever do because generally third-party applications do something very, very specific that I don't need to do. And then the final thing that I actually look at is, does it accomplish the goal that I'm, I'm looking for? Does it do exactly what I need it to do or does it kind of do it, but it does a lot of other things. Generally, I only like to use applications that accomplish exactly what I want it to do. If it does a few other things, that's awesome. I might take a look at those, but I really want it to accomplish my main goal. 
If not, then I probably to my own detriment in some cases, uh, go write it myself because then I know exactly that it does what I want it to do. So I'd be really interested in knowing how other people evaluate third-party applications that they want to use. Please leave a comment below with, with your list of what you do and definitely like and subscribe to this video and feel free to watch some of the others that I have available and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.